Hey, nice job everybody today. That was pretty excellent. I got a question. How many people how many people in here have health care coverage? How many people don't? How many people are gonna get covered by Obamacare when that comes into effect? Alright, so there's a lot of people missing in that picture. We need much better health care in this state, in this country. We need universal health care that covers everybody. I think it should be paid for by the state. Um, Obamacare is going to cover a few more people, but not everybody. We've got to get everybody taken care of. And so that's why on the first day of the, uh, the legislature in Salem, we're going to be rallying for health care, for universal, everybody in, documented, undocumented, everybody covered by free health care. That's what we need in this country. Healthcare is definitely human right. So we're going to have buses meeting over at 47th and Stark. I'd love it if we could. We got four buses right now. Only one of them is full. So I'd love it if if everybody here. It's it's a work. It's a Monday, so um, it, it might be a problem for some folks. But if you're able, um, get on these buses. We're asking for a donation, but if you can't make a donation, ride the bus for free to Salem, and uh, let's stand up for healthcare because, as she said, it's a damn it, a human right, and everybody should have it. So I'm going to pass these around. Um, actually, let me just read some, because this is Martin Luther King. Uh, what he said about health care, he said this, of all the forms of inequality, injustice in health care is the most shocking and inhumane. So uh, let's help make make that one piece of what, what MLK was for, fighting for reality. Join us on February 4th. Uh, give your contact to Chris and um, he'll go to contact you back and make sure that you are there to ride the bus to Salem to fight for health care for all because health care is a human right. So after Baha Salari, you know, we are going to do an open mic and you, you can come and uh, if you have a message to say, you can come to the mic, okay? So it's going to be also a community um, event that you can express your voice. Working? Okay, I found the mic. Great, okay. Got a lot of music that they never rehearsed because they are always playing. So I play for some people, bring in the energy there, they got great energy, I love these guys. Yeah, I'm very happy for these guys, thank you. Alright. Um, I just I wanted to put in a, a plug about Dignity Village. I know y'all don't hear that voice out here about Dignity Village very much. But when I tell you, they've been going strong for 12 years. Right now, we're the only uh, winter shelter open right now because we disagree with 28 degrees. We say if it's freezing, then, you know, people need to come in. Sometimes we bring them in when it's uh, warmer because it's raining, too. We know what the elements are like. So we let them in, come sit around our fire, come crash on our couches. That's all we've got, but it's something. Uh, we're at the end of the 70 line. And I want to say that it's a really understated statement of Dignity Village is that we are still here. We have been put out on a garbage dump 12 years ago, and we continue to live in dignity in a very quiet way. And we have other villages and other in other cities looking to us. Opportunity Village, which is up in Eugene, yeah, came up and visited Dignity Village. It came and visited R2D2. Came in R2S. So Portland is looked at for like what could be a village. I have people from Texas come visit up here. We have people from the East come and visit. We're on the website. We're in the, uh, up in the world. We're looking at what villages could be. And thank you for Ibrahim back there. He was there 12 years ago. He's hiding. He's still got the fire playing going on. Let's see what this dude says. And uh, I know all the other folks here, they're carrying a sign out there. It was eight of us. That's 20% of our community came down. 20%. What community has 20 percent showing up? That's good. Um, and they went home already because they got roofs to repair. It's a sunny day, they get to work where you know, they can get the structures up. Those are all recycled building structures, plywood, um, all recycled recycled materials. So we got like three construction structures out there. 
Anybody's coming to Village to come visit, you're welcome to come visit. And you can ask for our one hour village uh, story movie that there that was created. Everybody wants to come learn about that. Otherwise, it's all of us together, all over the world. We have to take care of each other as human beings, think about our basic needs, our basic rights. And then everything else we can really have fun together with creating. We get our basic needs together, we get our fun with the rest. All right, thank you very much. Patrick, you around? Here you go. On January 2nd, more than two, what I call a squad of Portland police surrounded me, claiming I was Randy from California with a warrant. The cop that was talking to me asked not just one, but two questions more than once. And when I said some variation of, if you pay attention to the conversation, I'll have to answer these questions only once, I allege I was answered with rage, including profanity. Given me probable cause that cop was on drugs, could not follow the conversation, and on steroids on duty, rage. We need to watch the police. If you have a camera phone and you see them record it, give the evidence to the criminal grand jury. Thank you. I'm not sure what this says. Um, Dancy? Or no, excuse me, Harriet Cook. Yeah. Uh, so, I was blessed to be born into privilege, and I have never felt more privileged than when I get to be in this kind of a situation, and this kind of a community with this kind of music and this kind of spirit. Um, we're all gathered together about jobs, about health care, and I just want to say something about health care. Health care for all is not exactly the ticket because there are a lot of problems in the health care system with the medicines that are prescribed. And I particularly want to speak to mental health issues and to chronic illness. The best health care that we can do is to take care of ourselves with nutrition and exercise and lifestyle. And I want to put a plug in for the local Rethinking Psychiatry organization from First Unitarian Church. We educate the public about alternatives to mental health drugs that can be incredibly, incredibly dangerous and damaging. However, they're also addicting, so if you happen to have been prescribed them, don't try and get off them really, really quickly, or it can send you into psychosis and all kinds of difficulties. So be aware that healthcare for all, you really need to be part of a healthy healthcare system, and that is gonna take all of us working together to create. I also wanna put a plug in for those who are working on a different economic system. There is a group, Transition Portland, has an alternative currency working group. We're going to do a book study on Bernard Lee A. Taylor's book, New Money for a New World, looking at ways of creating currencies that truly reflect our values. It may take forever before we wrestle the money from the military industrial complex to take care of each other. And we don't need it. We can create our own currency systems. So if anybody wants to see me afterwards, I'll take your number and let you know when the book study group is going to be happening and I can give you some other information. So thank you all for being here, for showing up and being who you are. Next we have Darcy. Darcy Stewart. All right, so we'll move on to the last person on the open mic, unless Darcy comes up and grabs this. Um, there you go. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Darcy, and I'm from the streets out here for many years. And uh, we have it all rough out here, but you know what? The best thing that we have is we all stick together and no uh, fight, not stab each other, not nothing. You know, we're all here, out here to, you know, we are all here, out here together. You know. Hi, honey. Solidarity. Love you. Solidarity. Solidarity everywhere, you know. So, I'm just glad I made it out this many years with the stabbing and gutting I went through over crack, you know. Real, real, real life truth, man. You want to see it? Look, what I had to go through. Holding the intestines outside of my body, you know, over drugs and alcohol, you know. So, it just, it's not, it's not worth it out here, man, for real. I will, but I just wanted to come up here and say something, because I've been on these streets for about 30 years, you know, out of here, off and on. Housing here, housing there, stuff, you know. So, and I have a rhyme for you. Here's a mama that you might not like. I hear mama's a Frisco dyke. Hear me, toe to toe, MBT. I hear your bark was vicious, but your run for it quite good vicious. <laughs> That's for you, I love you. I love you anyway. There's for you. Just put me a rap out here, I can. Like Dr. Dre. Right? But no. All us homeless people, we need to stick together out here. Mother, you know, we're single women, single men, you know. We all have lives, we all have hearts, you know. We all have a, we all have a mental illness, you know, that we might not want to look at but we have to look at you know we have to fucking we all have to look at our mental illness because that's the half the property of homelessness is the managers kick us out because we have mental illness you know and we drink and we drug and and we just got to you know i'm for real you know, I'm talking about real talk, about me, you know. My manager wanted me to go get her pills for her. Leslie Bennett, Helen Swindells, wanted to get her some pills. And I lost my housing out of four years. So, you know, be careful who you put your place, your people in your their place, you know. She wanted me to get her benzos and stuff. The real talk, you know. I don't lie. So, you know. Now I'm homeless out here. Lost everything. You know. But not my life. Not right now. But. Watch out the landlords in your place, you know. They might want you to chase that drug for them, like she did. So, anyway, love you all. God bless you. True fact. Now rap. Thanks, Darcy. Yeah.
You spent it. We got one more person signed up for the open mic, but I can't read the name. Does anybody remember who the last person was? Were you the last person to sign up? It looks like it could be Mortimer, or maybe more. Yeah. ER. I don't know. But if you don't, if you weren't the last person to sign up for the open mic and you're not itching to get up here, we got a, looks like we have a magnificent band set up to kill some things. My man got a saxophone and a filthy effects board. And I know Adam Carpinelli be bringing it. What's the name of the group? Finger Paint Afro Jazz. Finger Paint Afro Jazz. 